<laughs> I looked over the blueprints, but I didn't think it'd be this big. Really? Don't get so excited. This facility is nothing remarkable. As I explained before, much of your duties will be performed here under my direction. <laughs> I expect nothing short of raw talent from a Russell. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> so, she's a student here after all. Well, her name was called out during roll call, basically. I could swear I've heard the name Russell somewhere before. But more importantly... Where class seven is clearly no coincidence. <laughs> Only three students, and she's one of them. Yep. Combat tactics and military finance are undergoing their orientations at the moment. Special operations will be having an orienteering exercise. <laughs> you must make it through this facility in one piece. <laughs> Again. <laughs> in one piece? What does that mean? What is this building for? It's called Einhell Keep. It was built in conjunction with the branch campus for testing new methods of training. So... The interior is fully controllable via orbital technology and features variable difficulty levels. So it's a replica of the old school building. Okay. As for your exercise, you will be combating monsters and such unleashed within the keep. Yep, exactly the same. What? M monsters? That's a joke, right? Nope. Now I understand. Special operations, indeed. <laughs> I guess this is a fitting enough exercise, given our class's name. And it's not just for my students, either, is it? It helps that you're quick on the uptake. <laughs> that said, don't assume it will be the same as the Class 7 you were part of. No, because the instructor's going too. Rather than an experimental clash between social classes, this one will act as an established task force for assignments in the field. And as its instructor, you will have your students see each assignment through. So I'm with my students every step of the way. It's all starting to come together. Hold on just a second! We did what you said and came here, but what the heck is all this crap? <laughs> this is just... I mean, no one ever told me I was being put in some shady Black Ops squad. Black Ops? Yes. Shady? No. Your placement in Class 7 is the result of your aptitude test, Cadet Crawford. If you are dissatisfied, you have the option to pack your bags and return to the Military Police Academy. <laughs> That's all the way in Crossbell. I've yet to accept the situation, but I understand it now, at the very least. Can you give us more details? Certainly. Instructor Schwarzer and the three of you will enter the keep and stand by for further instructions. While on standby, they will explain their qualifications as you brief them on the use of the Arcus II. <laughs> Understood. Bah. Finally, we can begin the trial. <laughs> Disciple candidate, don't dawdle. Everything must be up and running in ten minutes. I will use no names, just descriptions. I'll get to work. <laughs> yes! Damn, looks like this school's even more messed up than I'd heard. <laughs> I'd prefer if non-affiliates stayed off the premises. <laughs> Take it easy. I ain't here to cause trouble. 
As soon as she's done with her orientation, I'm getting the hell out of here. Very well. You may have been referred here by the royal family, but don't forget your place. That extends to any actions you and your friends will take in the Empire from here on out. <laughs> I'd say that's up to you guys, you know? You got a whole country up to its neck in plots and schemes, and then a screwed up school like this pops up out of nowhere. Really makes you wonder who's pulling the strings around here. Yep, it does. I suppose I should have expected as much from an A-rank bracer. No, you're a bracer. You know Sarah. I bet you have no fee. I know she's become a bracer. And most of all, has she got the kit nickname White Kitten? If they don't name it's a major opportunity. They better not have. A facility full of untested mechanisms certainly sounds like a playground for the professor. Yep. So how much do you already know? <laughs> Nothing too specific. The above ground portion is a cube measuring 50 arch on each side, and the below ground area is still being expanded. Uh, that is specific, isn't it? Hmm? Are the two of you already acquainted? Yep. We are. I just had no idea she'd be one of my students. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. Let's start with introductions while everything's being prepped. I just got here earlier today, so I'm sorry I haven't had time to speak with you two yet. I'm... <sighs> Why even bother introducing yourself? We all Why? know you're Reen Schwarzer, the Ashen Chevalier. The big hero who put an end to the Erebonian Civil War when he was just a student. Not to mention the occupation of Crossbell. I'm sure everyone in Erebonia knows who you are. Probably everyone in Crossbell, too. <laughs> in addition, you resolved incident after incident across the Empire as part of your schoolwork. Then, during the Northern War last October, you worked alongside General Le Guin and Brigadier General Bardius to annex North Ambria. Ah, uh, that's what a half a year ago was. Le Guin? Like, our principal? Wait, what? And he helped occupy North Ambria? <laughs> I hate him even more. That's erroneous. The actual circumstances were... You're both very well informed. Though, calling me a hero is a bit much. I'd still like to say a little bit about myself. As you know, I'm Reen Schwarzer. I'm a graduate of Thor's Military Academy's main campus. I got my diploma just last month, and I'm starting as an instructor here at the branch campus today. A bit quick. I'll be overseeing martial arts and panzer soldat training outside the classroom. Inside the classroom, I'll be teaching history. You know how to op op operate one of those? That is, of course, in addition to being the homeroom teacher for Class 7 Special Operations. <laughs> I'll go next. My name is Kurt Vander. I'm from the capital. I've heard more than just the common stories about you. You're a Vander? That would make you General Zex and Lieutenant Colonel Mueller's... Mueller is my older brother, and Zex is my uncle. <laughs> Though I'm aware I look nothing like them, right up to my hair. Yeah, because theirs is dark while yours is... dyed? Yeah. <laughs> it's true, he doesn't have dark hair or even a similar build. By the way, are those glasses fake? <laughs> Been called out. They don't look good on you at all. You should probably get rid of them. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> Fashion is clearly not their intended function. Then what was their intended function? 
All right, I get it. They don't look good. No need to rub it in. Now get rid of them. Nice to meet you, Kurt. You're up next. <sighs> Fine. Oh, brother. <laughs> I'm Una Crawford. I transferred here from the Crossbell Police Academy. And honestly, I'd rather not be here. But if that's how it's gonna be, then I'll just have to make the most of it. Ah, Crossbell. I had my suspicions. So, when you say Police Academy, you're talking about the Military Police Academy, right? There was no military slapped on the name before the annexation. You guys are the ones who changed it. Are you saying I can only call it by the official name the great and powerful Erebonia has blessed it with? No, that's not what I meant. No, you don't have to. Well, I might have overreacted. Nope, you're fine. But I still don't accept that name. Yeah. It that's completely understandable. Hmm? I'm last then. Altina Orion, formerly part of the Imperial Army's Intelligence Division. Uh. <laughs> Isn't that classified? My affiliation with them ended upon my enrollment here. On paper. <laughs> on paper. Please, think nothing of it. I feel as though I've just heard something I shouldn't have. <laughs> the Intelligence Division is pretty hardcore, isn't it? Uh, hold up! What do you mean, on paper? <laughs> Slip of the tongue. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> There's that snark. Thank you for waiting. <laughs> Preparations are now complete for the level zero Einhell trial. If you haven't already, please set your Arcus 2s now. Is that the girl from earlier? Yep. I was under the impression she was a student, like us. Understood. Give us just a moment. Each of you were given one of these, right? Ah, that. I was sent one, but I haven't turned it on yet. <laughs> it's a battle ornament. Normal battle ornaments are personal devices that link with their user and can produce a variety of effects. They can improve your physical abilities and allow you to cast orbital arts, among other things. But this is the newest model, the Arcus II. It has a few additional functions. Interesting. It's a little different from the Enigma models in Crossbell. Hmm. To be precise, they are the product of a collaboration between the Reinford Company and Epstein Foundation. I assume these models are combat ready? <clears throat> yeah. I'll explain how they work. Now, each of you take one of these. Master Quartz. We get Master Quartz? The Enigmas did have these. <laughs> the basics should be the same. Go ahead and set your Master Quartz in the central slot. Yes, sir. Uh, here? I should set mine while they're at it. Yeah, you should. Yeah, minimap press down. Okay, flip them. Wait. Yeah. Ah. No, it's triangle. Didn't tell me. And you can have two. Hmm. Okay. All done. Whoa! I can feel it working. Now that you've set your master quartz, you're synced with your Arcus units. You should be able to notice a significant difference in combat. <laughs> Alright. Okay, now this is new. 
<laughs> How long do you intend to keep me waiting? As long as it takes. Sorry, Professor. We're ready. Then let's not waste any more time. Level zero begins on floor B1. The trial will be considered completed once you return to ground level. <laughs> Professor, isn't that red love? Sir, you shouldn't use that. <laughs> oh, don't act like you have a lick of common sense. You're Albert's granddaughter. What does that have anything to do with it? It's time we saw what Class 7's Special Operations is made of. I'm curious to see if you can survive with a passing score. <laughs> hey. Hey, watch the floor. <laughs> Same huh? again. What? Seriously, why does the floor have to drop again? Right yourself and brace for the landing. Altina, you. Clown Soleus. <laughs> That's cheating. Never mind. <laughs> Nah, never mind. <laughs> Still cheating. <laughs> what happened? Someone, someone had to do it, didn't they? I remember that professor talking. Then the floor opened up. Um, it was Yuna. Correct? Huh? <laughs> My apologies, but if you could move. It's not that you're heavy, but I'm having trouble breathing. Yeah, your boobs are on my face. <laughs> <clears throat> well then, history repeats itself. <laughs> Well, at least it's not you this time. The floor appears to be padded, so bruising should not be an issue. Well, this time. How strangely like the obscene positions you often find yourself in, Instructor Reen. Please don't say things that'll give people the wrong impression. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm surprised you're already calling me an instructor. That is your current designation. <laughs> I assure you, I didn't intend for this to happen. Then again, I suppose intent is irrelevant. I won't make any further excuses. You may hit me if it'll make you feel better. <laughs> How very admirable of you. <laughs> you being so calm about it just pisses me off even more. <laughs> so I think I'll take you up on that. Slap. Did ask, and you did get. Huh. Erebonian boys are just so. Ugh. I do not believe his nationality was a factor. <laughs> you were just a little unlucky. Like me. Not unlucky. I lack the expertise to make a proper landing. That resulted in embarrassment for one of my classmates. I admit my fault. Uh, I see. He's so mature for his age. <laughs> well, minus one stinging cheek, the three of you look fine to me. <laughs> so, it's time to begin storming the keep. But first, I'll need each of you to show me your weapons. This whole thing is a joke, right? Do we really have to play along? Uh, yes. I know the professor, and he isn't the type to joke around. He's serious about measuring each of our abilities. I want to learn everyone's combat styles so we can work together and get out of here safely. <sighs> Understood. These are my weapons. Twin blades. Two swords? <laughs> that takes skill. You're using the Vander School's dual blade style then. I knew of it, but I've never met a practitioner. 
I admit our great sword style has far more notoriety. But that style also requires one to be born with a broader physique. <laughs> True. These blades are better suited for the likes of me. Yes, but you say a great sword. What about Laura? She doesn't have a broad physique, and she's wielding her great sword with ease. I didn't realize. Well, Yuna, how about you? I'm still not down for all this. I know. But I get it. This is a military academy, so here you go. Another dual wielder. Tompa blasters. <laughs> you use side handle batons? They look a little more complicated than that. What are they exactly? These are gunbreakers. Special tonfa with guns installed. Developed by the one and only CGF. <laughs> they can switch between melee and mid-range firing. An intriguing weapon. A crossbell guardian force, right? If I recall, First Lieutenant Orlando was once part of it. He'd left long before the occupation disbanded them, though. Good to know. We'll see how well they work in action today. <laughs> you do seem to know your way around them. Uh, of course I do. I trained with them at the police academy. And they'll be way more useful than a couple of weapons as old as the Great Collapse. <laughs> they mind the in yours. Hmm. We'll see where everyone stands once we've engaged in actual combat. You're up next, Altina. Understood. Hold up. There's something I've been wondering for a while now. Who let a kid enroll at a military academy? Uh... I, I don't know. Was she 12 in the last one? So, six years. She's 18. Right? I've been curious about that myself. She claimed to be with the Intelligence Division, but surely she won't be joining us in battle. <laughs> eh, she will. Well, personally, I agree, but... There is no need for concern. My physical age is approximately 14 years old. I am no small child. So what, were you 14 then? So basically you're 20. <laughs> Physical age? No, you're definitely small. <laughs> uh, so was Toa. Didn't say anything there. I also have my weapon, the basis for my admittance into the intelligence division. Hmm. <laughs> Black puppet. What the hell? This explains that black shadow I thought I saw earlier. <laughs> Clown Soleus, a combat shell. The latest version of the line of special weaponry. Further details are classified. Suffice to say, it will contribute to our overall fighting strength. Um, are <laughs> things like that normal in the Empire? <laughs> of course not. It's my first time seeing something like this, too. Golden Rakshasa, the Ashen Chevalier, and even a girl like her. What manner of place is this branch campus? Hmm. <laughs> I don't blame either of you for having questions, but we can save them for another time. By the way, this is my weapon. Itachi. Of course. The Tachi is used by students of the Eight Leaves One Blade School. Just like back then. The, I mean, it's just like the sword Arios used. Right. It's not an Imperial-style sword. It comes from the East. <laughs> I guess the Divine Blade of Wind is pretty famous in Crossbell, huh? <laughs> A lot happened, but he still has plenty of fans. Even when a certain empire has made him a wanted man. Yeah, I suppose so. That covers everyone then. Let's be on our way. Okay, let's get going. We're currently on floor B1. 
If we make it back up to ground level, this little trial will be over. I'll give you some tips along the way on combat, how to use arts, and your Arcus units. Follow me and proceed carefully and deliberately. <laughs> okay, let's just go. <laughs> I'll give it my all. Commence mission. And all the stuff. Yep, I got the achievement. The entrance is right over there. Let's move out as soon as we're ready. Yes, sir. Hmm. Just what the heck is all this? 